So I want you guys to understand. So basically what this question is asking is x minus 3 a factor of that, of that polynomial, right? So we have to kind of understand again, breaking this down into stuff we understand. Is 3 a factor of 6? Yes, because it divides into it two times, right? So therefore, is 2 a factor of 6? Yes. So therefore, we need to understand, they're basically asking, is x minus 3 a factor? So does x minus 3 evenly divide into that? Well, you could use long division, you could do synthetic division, and test to see if it evenly divides. If it evenly divides, you'll have a remainder of 0, right? However, it's saying using the factor theorem. So they're not asking for division. However, you could do the problem using division. If you remember in our notes, if you guys remember we did something like this. Remember we plugged in zeros? So if this is a factor, we're going to call, call this factor x minus 3 a factor. Then we could set it equal to 0. And we could find the 0, which is 3. Right? You guys remember doing that? And remember we plugged in. So let's call this, just let's call this f of x. So if we plug 3 in for x of this function, if we get 0, then the remainder theorem said x equals 3 is a 0. That's what the remainder theorem was. Remainder theorem. Which is the same thing as like division. Remember, we kind of checked our answer by dividing. So if you plug in a number and you get 0, that means x equals 3 is a 0. If you get 0, then x minus 3 is a factor. That is the factor theorem. And you guys agree with me that x minus 3 and x equals 3 are related to each other, right? x minus 3 is the factor, x equals 3 is the 0, right? So let's just check. f of 3 equals 3 cubed minus 3 squared minus 3 minus 3, minus 15. So we have 27 minus 9 minus 3 minus 15. So that gives me positive 18. That gives me negative 18. So therefore, that gives me 0. So therefore, you don't need to do long division. You could. Or you don't need to do synthetic division. You could. But we can just prove here now that, excuse me, via the factor theorem, that x minus 3 is a factor. Questions on that? Does that make sense? 